Next is principles of public international law. So under public international law, there are persons exempted from criminal prosecution. Una, sovereigns and other heads of state. Sharjah de Fair, that is pronounced as Sharjah de Fair, not in the in this, uh, charges the affairs. Ambassadors, ministers, there are two types of ministers, plenipotentiary and resident. Pag sinabing plenipotentiary, ang ibig sabihin nito, government, politics, and diplomacy, especially of diplomatic envoy, invested with or possessing full power or authority. So, you may authority huh, to act on a particular matter representing his government. So, not exempted are consuls, vice-consuls, other commercial representatives of foreign nations. So, you have to remember this one kasi merong naitanong nito sa board examinations na ang consul ba ay kasali sa exempted sa criminal prosecution. So, general rule under principles of public international law, no. Because hindi siya kasali sa listahan sa scam. So, ang memory aid natin is scam. That is, ang S, sovereigns and other heads of states. Letter C, Sharjah de Fair. Letter A, ambassadors. And number four, uh, that is letter M, ministers. So, pwedeng ma-exempted siya kung merong treaty stipulations. Kung nag-usap ang dalawang bansa na isali sa exemption, ang consul, pwede. Okay? So, let us continue. So, these are exceptions to the characteristic of general under the laws of preferential application. Let us now move to territorial general rule. Penal laws of the Philippines are effective only within its territory. So, mag-apply lang ang batas natin. Ang word there is within, meaning sa loob ng teritoryo natin. So, bago natin magpatuloy ito, let us first take a notice on several concepts of territoriality. So, meron tayong tinatawag na intra-territoriality. What does it mean, intra-territoriality? Ang ibig sabihin nito ay laws of country are said to be applicable only within its territory. So, mag-apply lang ang bat tas na isang uh, bansa sa loob lamang ng teritoryo nito. So, the ones that we considered, yung pinak-general rule with regard to territoriality, pasok yan dito sa intra-territoriality. So, ang extra-territoriality, the loss of the country applicable outside its territory. Meron ding term na exterritoriality. Ang ibig sabihin nito, loss of the country not applicable inside its territory. So, kunin natin ang mga keywords dito. Intraterritoriality. Dito tayo kukuha ng clue sa word or sa prefix na intra. I-connect natin yan sa within. And in the case of extraterritoriality, dito tayo sa prefix na extra. I-connect natin sa outside. And in the case of extraterritoriality, dito tayo kukuha sa prefix na X. Ang pinaka-ano natin is not inside. I-connect natin. So, intraterritoriality, mag-apply ang batas sa loob ng teritoryo nito meaning sa loob ng teritoryo ng bansa. Extraterritoriality, mag-apply ang batas sa labas ng teritoryo ng isang bansa. Exterritoriality, hindi mag-apply ang batas sa loob ng uh, teritoryo ng isang bansa. Now, this is a very important question. What comprises the Philippine territory? So, the Philippine territory includes the following. The body of land. 
Ito ay tinatawag natin na terrestrial airspace or tinatawag din siyang atmosphere. And we also have body of water. So the body of water consists of inland waters. So yung mga tubig no, na nasa loob ng teritoryo ng ating bansa. And we have the maritime zone, the 12 nautical miles from the outside borders. So teritoryo pa rin natin yan kahit na 12 miles mula sa outside borders natin. So yung tinatawag na exclusive economic zone na 200 nautical miles from the outside borders. Ang application doon ay economic. Hindi mag-apply ang criminal law. Because ang criminal law mag-apply lang 12 nautical miles from the outside borders. Okay, so itong general rule ng territorial na concept, ito ay patungkol sa intra-territoriality. Ibig sabihin, our laws apply only within the limits of our territory. So, alam natin, in every rule, there is an exception. So, we have exceptions to the general rule of territorial. So, tanda natin na ang general rule, mag-apply lang ang batas natin sa loob ng teritoryo ng Pilipinas. So, ang tanong, what if Sa labas na commit ang krimen, sa labas ng teritoryo ng Pilipinas, mag-apply ba ang batas natin? The answer is, in some regard, in some respect, yes, mag-apply ang batas natin. Kung pasok siya dito sa exceptions. So, ibig sabihin natin, ang exceptions sa general rule is extraterritoriality. Meaning, mag-apply ang batas natin kahit na ang krimen ay na-commit outside of the territory. So, tingnan natin ang mga exceptions na to na makikita din natin sa Article 2 of the RPC. Una, if the offense is committed on board the Philippine ship or airship, so, tinan natin. So, there are requisites to say or to consider kung pasok ba to sa exception. One, the ship or airship is in the international waters, not within the territorial jurisdiction of another country. Tadaan so, niyo ha. So, kung ang krimen ay nakumit sa loob ng barko ng Pilipinas or eroplano ng Pilipinas, no? so Philippine ship or airship, ang ship na yan or airship na yan ay nasa international waters or yung tinatawag natin na high seas. So kasi pag uh, nasa teritoryo na siya ng ibang bansa, uh, ibang usapan na yan. Dipindi na sa kung ano yung pinapatupad na rule ng isang bansa. The ship or airship must be registered in the Philippines under Philippine laws. So, dapat registrado siya sa batas natin, no? ang isang barko. So, ibig sabihin pala nito, ang Philippine ship or airship na pinag-usapan natin dito, kaya may requirement na register. Ito ay privado. So, privado siya or privately owned, hindi siya pagmamayari ng gobyerno. Because kung ang barko na to ay pagmamayari ng gobyerno ng Pilipinas, automatic yan na kung ano ang krimen na nakumit sa loob ng barko na yan na pagmamayari ng Pilipinas ay ma-prosecute dito sa Pilipinas because tayo ang may palaging jurisdiction over the crime. Why? Because yan ay considered as extension of the territory of our country under the worship rule. Kaya, 
Ang pinag-usapan natin dito pala, that Philippine ship or airship, this applies only to privately owned ship or airship. 